Hello guys, it's Utsup Chakma from Uzu Studio and uh, currently I want to announce that I am developing another game called Dead Army and the Dead Army will be a military simulator game the military in general is currently pretty domin dominated by squad and armor team for me, these shooters are not actually completely perfect I constantly feel need of improvements on these games look at Call of Duty in Call of Duty, only by using right mouse button, you can both bolt and aim. You will have to press right mouse button for aiming and for bolting, you will have to press B in Arma 3. And surely it isn't easy because two keys for two actions are hard, but two actions for one key is not. This enables player to freely control their character just by memorizing some of the keyboards such as just by that mouse button you can both aim and hold. But in Arma 3 it isn't the case. You will have to memorize that right mouse button is for aim meaning and the bolting is by B. Also you can talk about the aiming right. The aiming in sp scope and the iron sight is easier in Call of Duty not in Arma 3 and plus switching to grenade launcher is not easier too in Arma 3. Yeah and don't forget about the squad commanding it's really hard. The game squad is not as realistic as Arma 3 either nor it has AIs. It actually simulates military simulation on really well i really actually love squad but i still want to see some improvements such as the body is using the player body is using the first person character mesh and third person character mesh on other players i don't think it's actually realistic and this way animations will falter so let's make a meal sim game that combines all of these things easy key stroking correct body information smart squad commanding and also best practices using unreal engine 5 the latest game development technology that is currently available now you guys may ask me why unreal engine 5 right? the game i'm trying to make will have a big world to render big world you'll need big budget right large amount of data such as all the trees in the open world and the houses and any kinds of messes can be overwhelming in unity and godot will be very laggy so i chose unreal engine because using lumen and lenite unreal engine automatically reduces the number of rendering it should do so the cpu can be running faster red army will be a such a big open world game because it will have dynamic missions all around a large world so it's all about unreal engine but in case of environment design that i recently did got a lot of hype than before well actually only five likes on twitter it's really bad but whatever um it looks like you guys like the artworks it's not me but thanks to the unreal engine it actually renders re so re realistically in lighting that my entire scene actually looked beautiful even though it wasn't beautiful when i designed it after designing i had baked the lights and which helped me to boost performance and bought the beauty of the game i actually had to rebake a lot of times just for pla placing fences and pine trees uh, that was actually time consuming but the result was pretty good so i actually like the thing that i have did by myself too and after that uh, the thing is about me messing up the project i have messed up a big thing i did not knew that meta human skeleton and the ue5 default skeletons were not the same i have added and assigned the als bone on uh, from the meta human bones and it already added some extra bones that broke the whole animations and also some C++ code for unknown reason. The backup seemed to be not helping in any ways because the skeletons were not matching. So I had to recreate the prone animations again um, and the skeleton, I don't know how I fixed that skeleton again. And I also had to redo the C++ code such as uh, when you are jumping you can still roll right in the ALS it was a problem but it was fixed after I had fixed in develop 1 and I have to fix it for develop 2 also uh, the animations were problematic because the gun wasn't in hand but the gun was except in on the right side of the character whenever the character goes to this position the gun still stays in the right side of the character that was a problem so fixing that was really painful 
Now I feel the need of Git. I mean GitHub or Git, whatever. I would say it is Git. So about the Git, the Git was actually important because instead of backup, it will actually control the person. Which means if I accidentally add an extra bone and destroy all the animations, I can go back to extra bone less skeleton by Git just by switching its persons. I have also made a cool music for my game called Statesnet. I am actually pretty happy with what I have made. And I've also researched about gunfire abbey. The three main things I would discuss on here, there are more things that I know about, but I have researched and found three things. The main shooting, the best shooting is called tail, like and it will go something like that. I do have some interesting thing to do with my game right now from the next time. So I saw in internet that UE 5.4 provides motion matching, so using it would be better, but in ALS you don't have that motion matching, so I'll have to implement my own motion matching, and a lot of codes I will have to do it by myself for implementing motion matching in my game. Pushing Unreal Engine into limit, I will do a lot more things for my Red Army game, I will cover it in Deadlock 3. Arigato, so see you bye bye.